Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Little Leagues podcast. This is WWE Week in Review, Episode 2. This episode is sponsored by me. Me, myself, and I. NX Me. This video is sponsored by me because now I have YouTube memberships, super thanks, and super chats. So, if you enjoy listening to to the podcast, like and subscribe, maybe comment, and if you really, really like the podcast, join, and if you really, really, really like the podcast and want more of it, and it to get bigger, send a super thanks. It, I would I would be super thankful. Get, get it? Okay, never mind. Joke didn't land. Okay, I get it. You don't need to bully me. <clears throat> Okay, so, to start off the podcast, we have Raw. It's my favorite episode. It's my favorite show, Raw. I-, I said it again. And, it's a season premiere. And, yes, two ands, it's WWE Week. Well, it was. And we start off Raw with the boom we're costco guys of course we watch every single wwe live show we're costco guys of course we bought the costco exclusive wwe knuckle crunchers but seriously it's the wide six for his american made in a mixed eight person tag team street fight this match was crazy good especially since it was the starting match for the first half the wide six were in control but then america oh i'm not even recording this on my ipad <clears throat> but then american made Got the upper hand. But after a while, the Wyatt Six were back in control. And then, Uncle Howdy, who wasn't even in the match, hit Gable with his sister Abigail. Then, Loomis splashed Gable, and the Wyatt Six won. But this match was crazy. They are using every weapon, even the barricade at one point. But if this rivalry keeps going, maybe we'll see them at bad blood. Then, Finn Balor came out for some reason. Also, can someone explain to me why they made a shirt with purple and then just entirely removed the purple from their branding? It does not make sense. But pretty much Finn called Damien Priest a coward and that he is hiding from Finn, even though Finn is the coward hiding from Damien. Then, of course, Damien came out to beat up Finn. And they're having a match of bad blood. But then the Judgment Day came out and beat up Damien. Rhea even came out, but that didn't help. But there was a really nice moment where Damien laid over Rhea and protected her from getting hit. But when you see Dominic in the back looking, he seems a bit sad and sorry for Damien and Rhea. But I don't, I don't think it meant anything. I think he was just like, oh, those are my old friends. Those are my real-life friends outside of wrestling. And, you know, they're kind of beating them up a lot. <clears throat> but then, Jay Uso came out. Yeet. And he had a metal chair. And the Judgment Day scattered. Because they know they can't beat the Yeeter Jay Uso. Jay and Rhea even held hands. So cute. Yeah, Jay was trying to grab Damien, but Damien was, like, spasming out and shaking. And... Yeah, he was he was definitely badly hurt from the attack of a Judgment Day. Then we had the Witches against Storm. I mean, Jade Cargill. How has Marvel not sued WWE yet? And Bianca Belair. Just know, I hate the Witches. Isla Dawn and Apple Fire. I saw them at NXT. I don't like them. But I knew Jade and Bianca were winning, so it didn't matter. So my face was glowing when I saw they won. And I predicted it right. Also, they have changed every single belt except the Women's Tag Team Championship. So yeah, those belts are definitely unique. I don't think they look bad, but they're definitely not my favorite. Then we had Brett the Hitman Hart, who was rudely interrupted by Gunther, who even said he is better than Brett. Come on, Gunther. Can't be doing that. But Sami Zayn came out and challenged Gunther again after defending Brett. And he, Sami, he just wants that championship. He, he, he tried to get it again. But Gunther said no, until Brett said, and I quote, That doesn't look like a champion to me. That looks like a coward. That looks like a dirty yellow coward right there walking back to the dressing room. A gutless yellow coward. Then, Gunther turns around, and Sammy exits the ring. And then Gunther tries to swing a punch at Sammy, but Sammy blocks, and answers with many hits and attacks until security pulls them apart. So hopefully we'll see Sammy Zayn versus Gunther at Bad Blood for the World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, I don't know if Sammy would win that, though, but I just don't like Gunther, so I hope he wouldn't. Then, it's the DM hunk, Drew McIntyre, and he talks for a while, even talks to talks to and about Wade Barrett. Then, Adam Pearce comes out to give everyone some news, including Drew. CM Punk is not done, and he is not done with Drew McIntyre. And, at Bad Blood, 
It will be the tiebreaker. It will be CM Punk. It will be Drew McIntyre. It will be the end of CM Punk and Drew McIntyre story. It will be hell in a shell. I did better last night. Then backstage earlier, LWO and the Judgment... What did I say? <laughs> then LWO and the Judgment Day were yelling at each other. And it's Rey Mysterio versus Finn Balor, with both factions banned from ringside. And I wanted Rey to win, but Finn got disqualified and nobody won. Finn just kept pushing Rey into her ropes and even attacked him after the match. Like, calm down, man. Then we have a great match and main event. I, okay, I'm gonna be honest. Hulu, like, cuts things out, so I might have skipped a match. Sorry. The Fatal 4 match for the number one contenders match. Why did I... Okay, my notes suck. The Fatal 4-Way match for the number... The Fatal 4-Way match to be the number one contender for the IC title. I am the number one Jey Uso fan. So, I was rooting for him the entire time. And, this match was crazy. Especially because Braun Strowman was in it. Reading my notes, give me a second. But it ended with an Uso splash. In a 1, 2, 3, ding, ding, ding. And here is your winner, and the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship, Jay Uso. It's just me, Uso. Day one, it's just me, Uso. Day one, it's Jay. Let him on up. You know me now, Uso. And then SmackDown. Before I talk, I start talking about SmackDown. I cannot stand this new logo. It sucks. Also, why is there currently no. Also, why is every currently running WWE show going away from Hulu in 12 days? It doesn't make sense. We started the show with Triple H saying nothing that important because it was short. Like really short. But then we get Solo Sokoa versus Cody Rhodes for the Universal Championship in a steel cage. I really bet Cody on this one. Yeah, Cody won after delivering Crossroads to Solo. I was expecting Jimmy Uso to come out, come back, but he didn't, so I'm a bit sad about that. And the Bloodline came out. Of course. Where are you, Jimmy? Where are you? Rikishi said you were good to come back. Bloodline beat the heck out of Cody. Jacob even went to the, went to the top of the steel cage, but before he jumped, Roman Reigns entered the... The, the arena part. He came out. And everyone was just staring. And in the Simone werewolf. He climbed down. And then once Roman got to the door. And inside the ring. He closed the steel cage door. And beat the crap out of the bloodline. Until Solo came from behind. And Roman got beat up again. But then Roman got the upper hand. And fought the Simone werewolf. And Solo dragged him out of the cage. Like the... Jacob. He dragged Jacob out of the cage. But then the Tongas attacked Roman, which is so annoying. Meanwhile, Cody is like, <laughs> until he got back up and fought with Roman. Will they become a tag team like Cody and Brock Lesnar did a few years ago? Also, please give Roman a match and have him win, please. Also, bring back Jimmy. But we are getting a match at Bad Blood. Cody Rhodes, Roman Reigns, Solo Sokoa, Jacob fought too. Then it was Meechin versus Piper Niven. I expected Niven to win just because someone would interfere, but Meechin won. And Chelsea and Piper beat up Meechin after the match. Just great. Just have Meechin tag with someone to fight Pe Pepper and Chelsea. Wait, Pepper? No, Piper. Peter Pepper. Peter Pepper. Peter. Peter Pepper Pipe to Pickle Pepper. Pickle. I hate pickle. Yeah, we need someone to tag with Meechin and fight Pepper. I said Pepper again. We need someone to tag with Meechin and fight Piper and Chelsea because that's like the only way it's going to have a match ending with no one getting fought afterwards. Then we had a great and funny match. Kevin Owens with mis with his mystery partner. I'm guessing Randy. And they're going up against Grayson Waller and Austin Theory. I had KO winning. And KO's partner is, is, who now? Ricky? Who are you? Where's KO's real partner? I'm so confused. 
Oh, he's here. Great. Get out of here, Ricky. Kao hit Ricky with a stunner and said, thanks for coming. <laughs> that was the start of the funny. Yeah, I was right. His partner is Randy. Randy and KO got the win. But the match ended in a very funny way. Both KO and RK... I put it in my nose like KO and RKO, but I just... It doesn't make sense. The match ended very funnily. The match ended in a very funny way. Both KO and Randy hit vintage Randy Orton on A-Town Down and Under. Then KO and Randy did the thing where Randy slams his hand on the floor three times. That's going to be so loud. And KO did a stunner on Theory, and Randy did an RKO on Waller, and they won. I would like to say Theory is the best wrestler at selling moves because, geez, every time he gets hit with a stunner, he flies. So if Javon is bouncy, Austin, he's flying. And KO thanked Ricky after the match, which was funny. Then Nia Jax came out and started saying stuff I don't care about because I don't like her. We learned that Nia will defend her title at Bad Blood, but who is it? It's Bailey. Yippee. OMG, Tiffany, get out of here. Get your goofy Barbie butt out of the arena now. And Bailey was trying to pull Nia and Tiffany apart, but sadly, it did not work. Then Naomi came out and skipped the whole part where she says the letters in her name. N. A. O. M. I. Yeah. But wait, Naomi also wants the title. So, who's gonna fight Nia at Bad Blood? So next week, Bailey and Naomi will fight Nia Jax and Tiffany Stratton to see who will fight Nia at Bad Blood. But whoever loses leaves SmackDown permanently, and it's the person who gets pinned. But if they're doing a tag team match to see who fights Nia, how does that work? Is it like whoever pins them? Because aren't they going to be fighting to pin Nia? This makes no sense. I also forgot to add this, but Cody says the bloodline is now Roman Reigns' business. And it's just Roman's. Roman can handle that now. He doesn't want, He doesn't want to care about it anymore. So, you will face Jacob Fought 2 and Solo Sokoa at Bad Blood. Jimmy U Uso, please. But after the next match, Andrade vs. Carmelo Hayes, Roman Reigns will address the situation. Yeah, so Cody, he doesn't want to sign the contract. Rest in peace. But that gives us an opening for Jimmy. So, I want Andrade to win. You know, you know how I just said it's Andrade vs. Carmelo Hayes? Yeah, yeah. But I think Melo is winning. And the winner was Andrade! Yeah, Melo sucks. Melo misses. And he sucks. Yeah. That's why he's the uncannon speed champion. Yeah, speed doesn't even matter to the WWE lore. Oh my god, it's LA Knight! Yeah. He is here to congratulate Andrade for being the next contender for the United States Championship. But uh, LA says he is just going to get beat up next week. Yeah. Wow, I just, I'm looking at my audio and how it just spiked all the way to red. Then we get sent backstage to see Jade Cargill and Bianca Belair. And they say they will defend the title on any show and will defend it against anyone. Then Nia and Tiffany come out and tack, talk, tack, and talk some smack. Then we get the OTC. Acknowledge me. What does he have to say? Who is his tag team partner at Bad Blood? Jimmy Uso? Jay Uso? Sami Zayn? Paul Heyman? Here's a brief summary of what he said. Or... You'll find out. Okay, before I go, go to that. They put on screen where, like, you see the ad. And in the smaller screen, you see the show. But you can't hear anything. So Roman was just walking around in the ring for five minutes during the break. But then finally, once it ended, this, this is what Roman had to say. And I quote, some things change, but not me. I don't need a partner. I definitely don't need the help of Cody Rhodes. If I have my family's Ula Fala or not, I am the tribal chief. I'm not the original tribal chief. 
I am the only tribal chief. This is my ring. This is my WWE. This is my show. That was not quoted entirely. I think I skipped some parts, but, you know, the show was going by really fast. Then, Cody came out. Whoa! What's Cody has to say? And I quote, Your ring? Your WWE? Well, it was, but it hasn't been since WrestleMania. And Cody and Roman stare each other down. And so is Sokoa. And the Tonga's from behind. Again, I swear! And Cody gets the upper hand, because he is the best, and so does Roman. And Roman signs the contract to fight Solo Sokoa and Jacob Fatu at Bad Blood. That <laughs> is really funny. I put it in my notes to fight Solo Sokoa and Jacob Fatu at Roman Reigns. <laughs> what was I thinking when I was writing this? I write these on my phone, and it's so hard, because like, my fingers are too big. Then, Cody reaches his hand out to also sign the contract. Roman gives it to him, and Cody signs it. It's official. Solo Sokoa, Jacob Fatu versus Roman Reigns and Co- Cody Rhodes at Bad Blood. Now it's time for NXT. Man, do I love myself some NXT. Here's what happened this week. Axiom and Nathan Frazier versus the Rascals for the NXT Tag Team Championships. Wait, Rascals are out? Oh. Replacing the Rascals are the Street Profits. I wanted Profits to win, but I thought that Fraxium was going to win. And the winners were no one. What? The Bloodline interfered and came out to NXT just to beat up the Street Profits by orders of the Tribal Chief. Man, it was cool to see them in person. Except Solo couldn't. He didn't go. But, you know, I don't like him anyway, so. Then we had Julia versus Chelsea Green for the number one contender to NXT Women's Championship. I had Julia winning this one. And I was right. This Tuesday will be the contract signing between Julia and Roxanne Perez. I'm excited to see that match in October, but I don't know if Julia's going to win. Well, we did make Ethan Page champ after only six weeks. Six weeks. So, anything could happen. Then, the ruler of NXT, Oba Femi, fought against his mystery opponent. But who will it be? I heard someone saying it was going to be Omos, but somehow my dad predicted it. Oma Femi's opponent is TNA's own... Hammerstone. I was expecting Hammerstone to win, but it seems no one can pin the ruler because Oba Femi won and beat Hammerstone. And then we had the TNA Knockouts Open Challenge. Jordan Grace versus who now? It's Sol Ruka. Yeah. Why did I say who now? Hey now, you're an all-star. Technically, oh, I skipped like a whole line. I expected Jordan to win, but did she? Technically, she did. Because no one in the end... Oh, never mind. Because in the end, she kept her title. But no one got pinned. Jordan slammed down Soul, and the lights cut out. Everyone was going crazy, thinking someone new would come out. But no, it was just Wendy 2 and Rosemary. I hated this outcome for the match, saying that they have no beef with Jordan Grayson or Soul. At least I think, because Rosemary's on... TNA, I don't watch TNA, because I'm not paying money for that. So, this was just stupid. I was genuinely disappointed and upset when I saw this ending. Then, Hulu skipped the match between Ridge Holland and Duke Hudson. But, Ridge won and sent Duke home in a stretcher, and broke his trophy more. So, let's just say, Andre Chase and Duke Hudson are together again. Together again, again. Man, it's good to be together again, again. Oh, Hulu also cut out Javon Evans' Heritage Cup match. I wish Javon won, but no. Charlie Dempsey is still the Her- Charlie Dempsey? Charlie Dempsey is still the Heritage Cup champion. Wes Lee also said something into the announcer's mic, but I couldn't find it. I swear, if Hulu cut another thing out. Man, guys, we're going to have an actually long episode. Let's, let's get a round of applause, but I got to be quiet because my dad says I'm too loud. Okay, there we go. Then it was the main event. Butch versus Trick Williams in a last man standing match. This match was awesome. I predicted Trick winning. Here are some cool things about the match. Butch and Trick jumped off that big tower in the corner and went through a table. And there were many times where the ref counted to nine and someone almost lost. But they they got back up again. 
Trick got, got to nine like five times, I swear. But after Ray jumped off that tower thing, Ethan Page came out to help Butch up. But Trick sent Ethan through a table, and Butch laid down for ten seconds. And Trick Williams was the last man standing. So next week, we have the contract signing between Roxanne Perez and Julia, and contract signing between Trick Williams and Ethan Page. But wait, there's something else? We're gonna have CM Punk Live. Let's freaking go. I'm gonna be there. My dad's literally getting to NXT at 2 p.m. so that we get, like, the best seats in the whole wide world. We're gonna be the first in line. The, they start boarding on the bus at, like, 5.30. I think he's gonna be alone for a long time. He's gonna have to, like, get a lot of food. Oh, I have to restart my computer. But that was all for the Little Leagues podcast. Make- Hello, I'd just like to say if um, if you guys become a member, certain levels will let you ask questions to me. And once I reach a thousand subscribers, I will be making, well, hopefully, I hope I'll be making a podcast episode. But I, I hope to make a podcast episode with, you're never going to believe this, a real wrestler. Yes, I know, crazy. But... If I am able to, that's why you want to become a member. You can ask me questions. You can um, ask wrestlers questions. You can get special emojis. You can get um, a Discord server, an exclusive one. You can you can play video games with me if you have a high enough level. Um, let's see. What else can you do? Um, hmm. Oh, you also get a shout out. You get early access to any videos that aren't podcast. You get member only videos. And yeah, that stuff. So that's why you should become a member. Yeah, guys, become a member. And let me get a new microphone, two more microphones, so I can get special guests. One special guest and um get my friend on here. Cause yeah so you can become an awesome sauce person for 2.99 a super awesome sauce person for 6.99 or an ultra awesome sauce person for 14.99 yeah they're pretty expensive or you can just do like a 99 cent super thanks or a one cent anything helps i'm gonna be homeless (laughs) i'm just kidding i have a family guys but yeah This is going to be stuffed in somewhere in the podcast. So, yeah. Bye-bye now. Go go back to a normal podcast. (laughs) Haha, you thought you were going to be going back to the normal podcast again? No, no, no. I got to tell you something again. So, if you join, if you join, like, the second level, the super awesome sauce, I'll let you, um, I'll let you be in the podcast for an episode. Yeah. I got to add that right now. So, yeah. Bye. Go back to the real podcast, actually, for reals. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go back to the real one now. Hurry up. Make sure if you liked it, go down below. Like the podcast. Go check out all the other podcasts. Subscribe. And if you really liked it, give me, you know, join. (laughs) Join the channel. Become a member. There's going to be exclusive perks. You can go read them. I'll link it in the description how to join. It's just like a little link. Click on it and you can join. And if you really like the podcast and you want me to have, um, you know, someone else on the podcast and soon special guest, um, yeah, make sure you, 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 you do a super thanks, even though it costs real money. And so does memberships. But, you know, it's free to like and subscribe. It would be nice if you like and subscribe and, like, watch all my other podcast episodes. They're not that bad. Okay, man, I... I I get they're not perfect, okay? You don't gotta bully me about it. But I'll see you guys in the next podcast episode next Saturday. Goodbye!